And welcome back. They're just about ready to get going, and we'll take you right into Detroit. But first, just a question or two to Matthew Rosenblum, who is a defense lawyer specializing in that kind of work here in New York. Uh, Matthew, one of the issues here is, of course, about the victim. Uh, and, of course, the defense will even object to the use of the term victim, but we use it here uh, for simplicity's sake. And clearly, Mr. Green uh, died as a result of what I think everyone would acknowledge to be a terrible circumstance. Mr. Green was 35 years old. Some called him Fly. He grew up in Arkansas. He was raised by his maternal grandmother. Uh, when he was 14, he moved to Detroit, and then uh, after a series of years and marriage elsewhere, uh, he came back. This time he had come back. Uh, the testimony has been to visit his mother, who was ill. Yesterday, as part of what was recorded on these calls back to the station for more information, the computer recorded calls, um, officers uh, Nevers and Budson had asked for a check on Mr. Green's background in Michigan. It had turned up nothing, no prior criminal record in Michigan. Yesterday, Mr. Gopal said, but that wouldn't report back if he had had some criminal past in another state, and the answer was no. Now, we know that in Illinois, he had had a history of trouble with the law, and here, here were the problems. Assault conviction in 1981, drunk driving in 1983, marijuana possession in 86, driving with a suspended license in 89, drunk driving in 90, and domestic battery in 90. Uh, now, these some of them have been attributed to a drug uh, and an alcohol problem, but nevertheless, those exist on a record in Michigan. Will the defense, we know they want them to come in, but will the defense, do you think, be successful in bringing these in? Uh, I think that the defense uh, has a good uh, basis to put it in because somebody who's a salt of, uh, so after somebody who uses drugs, somebody who's outside a crack house, somebody who maybe has an odor of alcohol in their breath, um, they wouldn't have run the check had they not had reason to believe they should run a check. So you have to be a little creative and use backwards reasoning and say, that's why we wanted to find out. We wanted to find out just how dangerous this guy was. And even when it didn't turn up that he had anything in Michigan, we kept on looking. We felt danger. We're trained police officers. Mm -hmm. we're, on, we're putting our lives on the line. We, we, in truth, though, it's just as likely the judge will rule to keep it out as to bring it in. Uh, if I'm the judge, I'll let it in. You're also a defense lawyer and a judge, but, I mean, trust me, it's just as likely the judge may well not bring this in, despite the best arguments of the defense. Of course, the argument from the state is going to be it's irrelevant. What Malice Green had done in the past, these cops didn't know and therefore is irrelevant. We're going to go into the courtroom, new witness on the stand. It's another police witness. Let's see if we can ID him for you.